हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर सोनिया जुनेजा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन काइट ग्रुप ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूशंस गाजियाबाद आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव इक्वेशन इन फ्री स्पेस दिस इज माय कंटेंट कंटेंट मैक्सवेल इक्वेशन इन फ्री स्पेस इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव इक्वेशन इन फ्री स्पेस देन मैक्सवेल्स इक्वेशन इन नॉन कंडक्टिंग मीडियम और डायलैक्ट्रिक मीडियम देन मैक्सवेल इक्वेशन इन कंडक्टिंग मीडियम एट लास्ट स्किन डेप्थ What is electromagnetic wave? A wave of oscillations of electric and magnetic fields in mutually perpendicular planes, and these oscillations are also perpendicular to the direction of propagation of wave. This type of wave is known as electromagnetic wave. Means, electromagnetic wave consists of electric field vector and magnetic field vector. Both fields are perpendicular to each other. and also perpendicular to the direction of propagation of wave this type of wave is known as electromagnetic wave electric field changes with time and produces magnetic field magnetic field changes with time and produces electric field both field are coupled with each other and produces a wave which is known as electromagnetic wave in which electric field vector magnetic field vector and direction of propagation vector are perpendicular to each other then electromagnetic wave equation in free space free space we know that in free space there are neither charges free charges nor current therefore volume charge density rho is equal to 0 and the current density j is equal to 0 in free space there are neither free charges nor conduction current therefore current density j is equal to 0 and volume charge density rho is equal to 0 in free space permittivity epsilon is equal to epsilon not and mu permeability magnetic permeability mu is equal to mu not in the free space the relation between electric displacement vector and electric field is d is equal to epsilon not t e, and magnetic induction and magnetic field intensity b is equal to mu not h d is equal to epsilon not e and b is equal to mu not h again recall in free space rho is equal to 0 j is equal to 0 epsilon is equal to epsilon not mu is equal to mu not d is equal to epsilon not e and b is equal to mu not h using these facts the maxwell's equation in free space becomes del dot d or divergence d is equal to 0 instead of rho because rho is 0 for free space The first Maxwell equation in free space is divergence d is equal to zero. The second Maxwell equation is divergence b is equal to zero. The third Maxwell equation is curl of e or del cross e is equal to minus del b over del t. And fourth equation is curl of h or del cross h is equal to del t over del t. If we take the curl of equation third, then we have curl means del cross del cross del cross e curl of curl of vector e is equal to minus curl of the curl of minus del b over del t using vector identity we have on the left hand side we have del into del dot e minus del square e is equal to minus mu not del by del t of del cross h because b is equal to mu not h when we substitute b is equal to mu not h and substitute the value of del cross del cross e with the help of vector identity we have the equation del into del dot e minus del square e which is equal to minus mu not del by del t of del cross h then from maxwell first equation del dot d is equal to 0 del dot d is equal to 0 and d is equal to epsilon not e means del dot e is equal to 0 that means this part is 0 then 0 minus del square e is equal to minus mu not del by del t of del cross h substituting the value of del cross h from this equation del cross h is equal to del d by del t then this equation becomes minus del square e is equal to minus mu not del by del t of del d over del t then minus del square e my is equal to minus mu not epsilon not del by del t of del e by del t because d is equal to epsilon not e then the equation becomes del square e is equal to epsilon not mu not del square e over del t square 
Similarly, we can show that del square h is equal to mu naught epsilon naught del 2 h over del t square. Both equation del square e is equal to mu naught epsilon naught del 2 e over del t square and del square h is equal to mu naught epsilon naught del 2 h over del t square are the electromagnetic or EM wave equation in free space in terms of electric field vector E and magnetic field vector H. Again recall the, max, the electromagnetic wave equation in free space in terms of vector E becomes del square E is equal to mu naught epsilon naught del 2 E over del T square del square H is equal to mu naught epsilon naught del 2 H over del T square. Comparing this equation with general wave equation which is del 2 y is equal to 1 by v square del 2 y over del t square then v becomes v is equal to 1 upon under root mu naught epsilon naught substituting the value of mu naught 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 and epsilon naught 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12 and solving this we have 2.99 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second which is equal to c c is the speed of light means electromagnetic wave travels with the speed of light in free space. It proves that EM wave travels with the speed of light in free space. Then the EM wave equation in free space becomes del square E is equal to 1 by C square del 2 E over del T square. In, in the place of 1 upon under root mu naught epsilon naught we have to substitute C Okay, then the equation becomes del square e is equal to 1 by c square del 2 e over del t square. In terms of h, del square h is equal to 1 by c square del 2 h over del t square. Both equations are electromagnetic wave equation in free space. Now Maxwell equation in non-conducting medium or dielectric medium. We know that in non-conducting medium, we know that in non-conducting medium there are no motion of charges therefore volume charge density rho is equal to 0 and current density j is equal to 0 d is equal to epsilon e and b is equal to mu h where epsilon is the electric permittivity and mu is the magnetic permeability of the medium then the maxwell equation becomes in non-conducting medium del dot d is equal to 0 or divergence d is equal to 0 which is First Maxwell equation in non-conducting medium. Second Maxwell equation is del dot B or divergence B is equal to 0. Third equation is del cross E or curl of E is equal to minus del B over del T. And fourth equation is curl of H or del cross H is equal to del D over del T instead of J plus del D over del T. Because in non-conducting medium J is 0. Then the velocity of EM wave V is equal to in non-conducting medium, V is equal to 1 upon a mu epsilon, under root mu epsilon, where mu is equal to mu r into mu naught, epsilon is equal to epsilon r into epsilon naught, where mu r is the relative permeability of the, relative permeability of, of the material, and epsilon r is the relative perm permittivity. Then we know that 1 upon under root mu r epsilon r is equal to, 1 upon mu r epsilon r relative permittivity and relative, relative permeability then we know that v is equal to c upon under root mu r epsilon r for non-magnetic medium mu r is equal to 1 then velocity becomes v is equal to c upon under root mu r then the refractive index becomes c by v which is equal which is equal to under root epsilon r then n square is equal to epsilon r then the maxwell equations in conducting medium in conducting medium charges only resides on the surface of the conductor then the volume charge density rho is equal to 0 current density j is equal to 0 then d is equal to epsilon e and b is equal to mu h where epsilon is the electric permittivity and mu is the magnetic permeability of the medium then the maxwell equations in conducting medium becomes del dot d or divergence d is equal to 0 Second equation becomes del dot B or divergence B is equal to 0. Third equation is del cross E or curl of E is equal to minus del B by del T. And fourth equation is curl of H is equal to J plus del D over del T. Now, in the conducting medium, skin depth or penetration depth is defined as, next topic is skin depth or penetration depth. The skin depth is denoted by delta and it is defined as the distance in which the strength of electric field the strength 
of electric field associated with EM wave reduces due to attenuation by a factor of 1 by E times of its initial value. The skin depth or penetration depth is the distance at which the electric field strength is 1 by E times 1 upon exponential times of its initial value. The uh, skin depth delta is equal to 1 by alpha where alpha is the attenuation constant. For good conductors delta is equal to under root 2 upon omega mu sigma where omega is equal to 2 pi f. For bad conductors delta is equal to 2 by sigma under root epsilon upon mu. For example, the permeability and conductivity of aluminium are mu is equal to mu naught and sigma is equal to 3.54 into 10 to the power 7 moles per meter. Find the skin depth if the wave enters in aluminium with frequency of 71.56 megahertz. The solution is for aluminium is a good conductor. For good conductors, the formula is delta is equal to under root 2 upon omega mu sigma where omega is equal to 2 pi f. Substituting the value of f mu and sigma, then the skin depth becomes 10.06 microns. This is the numerical of skin depth. Skin depth basically is the distance at which the electric field strength is the one is equal to the 1 upon e times 1 upon exponential times of its initial value. It is a reciprocal of attenuation constant. And for good conductors, delta is equal to under root 2 upon omega mu sigma. And for bad conductors, delta is equal to 2 upon sigma upon into under root epsilon upon mu. Thank you. For any query, kindly contact me son at sonia.junija at the rate kite.edu. Thank you so much.